was thinking about this going into break about being what if I was you know growing up as kids before I was you know, before my time or after my time where there was the cursing jar again the first time I thought my dad was cool was I was 18 years old when he dropped the f bomb but finally man he dropped an f bomb gosh I mean, I, I've ne- I've never heard my I never heard my mother curse ever and I think how far we've come. My daughter's heard me curse more in her lifetime than I ever did in my dad's lifetime. And my daughter's 10. <laughs> Is that so, a good thing? I don't know. <laughs> so, Statman, Suave, you guys being the Formula One snorkelers that you are. <laughs> Statman, go ahead and uh, you and Richie go ahead and intro this segment that uh, we so proudly jumped in with some NHRA drivers to ask them about their favorite curse words uh, when they're on the track or off the track. Is it curse or cuss? Or is that a regional thing? Because I've never once said the word curse in my life. It's always cuss. It's a cuss word. Just saying. It's a great point. Yeah. Is that one of those? what's, What's happening, if you've watched the Formula One race, you know that they put uh, radio comments from the drivers on the broadcast and it's uh, adds a lot to the broadcast i think Uh, but through the years that they've been doing this obviously the drivers have uh, used profanity (laughs) cussed and used curse words as well and they (laughs) uh, um, block those or uh, beat those or or got rid of those Uh, so obviously these are edited before they go on the air so I don't know what the big thing is about this. Uh, it, it, you know, if they they have a separate channel that they can talk to their engineers and say whatever they want, but these are the channels that are available to the public, and the broadcasters have made them available. So Richie, I don't know what the big what the big issue is. Uh, maybe their ratings have fallen off in uh, the United States, and they want to float this out there to get people talking about f1 again i will tell you what the issue is because it comes straight from the top and the fia president mohammed bin sulayim whose name i just butchered but this is his this this is how he describes it and the comparison he makes which is unreal he said quote we have to differentiate between our sport motorsport and rap music he said we're not rappers. <laughs> you know? the was... word, how many times per minute? We are not on that. That's on them. We are us. Yeah, that was something that Lewis uh, uh, protested to about 10 days ago and said that, hey, wait a minute. There's a lot of innuendo in that uh, mm-hmm. comment. And uh, he wanted to make sure that uh, what Muhammad was saying there and uh, what it what it meant, what he meant by what he said, uh, because in Lewis's uh, ears, that comment included some profanity, cursing and cussing. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't um, the, any four letter words. So, uh, yeah, all of this, again, mm-hmm. is insanity. Because it wasn't getting on the air, and you know, yeah, if they're I, worried about what the drivers hear between them, right. the pits and their cars, you know, a lot of the drivers would tell them to shut up, and that got on the air. He said, "I'm busy out here. Leave me alone." So, uh, you know. no talking under breaking. Yeah, right. You no know, talking like, under breaking. That's right. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> we we caught up with so, Erica Enders. Ida Zetterstrom and Ron Caps, three of the most popular NHRA drivers uh, on the planet, and asked them about cursing in the car, either in the car, or outside, just cursing in general. And you'll get some good insight to what these top level drag racers have to say when things get kind of gnarly in and out of the cockpit. They join us now, Speed Freaks Pits and the Lucas Oil Studio. What's your favorite curse word? I don't think it's appropriate. Well, just kind of sugarcoat it, man. Is it the S-bomb, F-bomb, M-F-bomb? What is it? It'd probably be the F-bomb. 
I mean, and I didn't ever say that word until I went to work for Elite Motorsports. I really didn't, because my dad, like, shut up and stupid were cuss words in our house growing up. So that that's, like, way out there. But if you, you've talked to Richard Freeman, he can't, he cannot speak without saying that word. It's kind of like tying an Italian's hands to their legs, and they can't, they can't talk without using their hands. Okay, so. is it F me, <laughs> F you, F, and then a name? What is it? It's usually, like, F mother of blah 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 <laughs> i don't know <laughs> sorry i love jesus but i cuss a little your favorite curse word whether it's at yourself the car your pr person your crew chief what's your favorite curse word you don't have to say it in front of this young crowd but you can give us an example you can you can edit it a little bit what is it and why and when do you drop it yeah, I might drop some f bombs in the car if I if I screw up. I don't, you know, I'm, I don't do that towards my team, but I do it towards myself. So if you were to get a hold of my GoPro videos, the in-car ones, you will see me, you know, punching my leg and screaming in the car before I get out, trying to get it out there. So like Daniel doesn't get to take all of it when I come out. Like I'm trying to shake it off, you know, so that they don't have to deal with it. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of Swedish curse words that I can. I can troll them out here because nobody knows about that. Go so, so that, for that can it. Be a good no, no, carry on. No, 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 no. <laughs> Teach no. us some new lingo. <laughs> yeah, the, the first fine from the NHRA to Edith Edstrom dropping Swedish curse bombs. That's only $50, Formula $50, One. Dollars. Formula One's the only series <laughs> low enough to fine people for their language. Well, okay, when you but when you drop the F bomb, is it F me, F you, F that, F this? It depends what I did. It's been a lot of F me lately. I feel like I've been annoyed at. What are the words that you use when you get mad at yourself, the crew, the car? You can clean them up a little bit, but we're asking drivers their favorite curse word. Man. Um, God. <laughs> FF seems to be the most popular. Well, they, yeah, they start, you know, they started tapping into my radio, and they did it on air the last few races. And they'd ask me in the staging lanes. Brian Loans from Fox Sports would come on, and they're talking to me. Before I two two runs away from making a run, they did an indie when we ran the snake car, um, so they're they're in our radio like NASCAR. So they're certainly hearing my words. I still have them, and in the car we get so jacked up, those come out very freely, um, in different ways. But yeah, I've I've had to, HR wise, I've had to sort of, be a little better as a team owner. Yeah, so I, I've just I, yeah I've been better at it. Believe me. So you're telling me, though, hold on. When you drove for Schumacher, when you drove for Perdome, they never cussed because it's not appropriate to cuss oh, as a no, team no. owner? Yeah, you know, if, and I don't know if this is why you brought that up. Is the the Netflix, the F1 stuff, is that why you brought it up? Gunther was a weird dude. Anybody watch <laughs> the Netflix F1 show? You, we've all watched it, right? Or it's, that Gunther has always been a weird dude, but I loved his reaction to F1 just told all their drivers no more cussing. And so the drivers are like, and they're fining them, and they're penalizing them. And Gunther, who ran Haas's F1 team, he was like, plug your ears. Okay, she's all right. Yeah, Gunther's she's like, what the f*** is that all about? And, and it, that's in his quote. And so they're like, but he's not in F1 anymore. But I love how they put his quote in it. So, yeah, we let words, yeah. Oh, my like, God. Don Perdome, yeah. When you're around those guys, it's the way real life is. And you, you hear words that you would never want to repeat sometimes. And we're all in the heat of the battle. And when you're driving for a guy like, like I had him at Indy last two years when we ran a special car, it was like having him as an owner again, although now I'm the owner and he's hanging out, but he still talks the same. And if somebody walked up, you know, I'd be, and they were a church-going person, I would be like, snake. Yeah. So, yeah, it still goes on. Erica's T-shirt. Yep. I love Jesus, but I still cuss. <laughs> I'm, who would buy that t-shirt if we made them i would absolutely yes yes yeah erica made her bones uh in a disney thing so i imagine if she starts dropping that stuff on the track disney might say we don't know the group <laughs> disney still runs that show you can still watch her movie right on track on disney plus it's again we've got about 40 seconds here but oh. it's something almost 25 years of speed freaks of getting those type of answers out of the biggest names in all of motorsports. Erica Enders, Ida Zeta Strom, uh, funny car champion, team owner, Ron Caps. It's just, 
It's badass. And again, Ron Caps over the weekend benefiting from the Speed Freaks mojo by making it to the finals against uh, Jack Beckman, which, of course, you saw Jack Beckman join us in the first hour. All right, man. We'll do it again next weekend. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Thank you to Worldwide Technology Raceway for housing the freaks. Stat man, let's shoot the juice to the moose and do what? And without cursing, cut it loose. See ya! Speed Freaks, Motorsports Radio, redefined.